people that if you praise your way through, God is going to pull you through. Yes, yes. He said, he said, I need you to understand. I need you to understand that you're closer than you think. I need you to understand that watch this. You got to praise God. Now watch this. See, the devil's been after some of us. He's been after you so bad. He has a strategic plan. Are you ready? He came after you so he couldn't get you, so he came after your husband. All right, all right. Your husband, he couldn't get the husband. He came after your daughters. He came after your daughters. He came after your sons. And after he came after your sons, he came after your whole house. And after he came after your house, he came after your cars. And after he came after your cars, he came after your finances. After he came after your finances, he came after your health. And after he came after your health, he he came out to your church and you ought to be praising him because you didn't die. Because That's right. Some of us said yes. in the midst of this mess, some of us cut some folk out, some of us drunk some stuff we ain't have no business, some of us smoked some stuff we ain't have no business, some of us went some places we ain't have no business, some of us did some things we ain't have no business. So I'm not praising him for what I did. I'm praising him who didn't kill me. Yes. Yes. I only praise him when uh, we come out. God help me. But I've learned how to praise him when I'm going through. Amen. I've Amen. How to praise him when I don't see the way. Yes. I've learned how to praise him because he did not. Keep on praising him. I'm almost done. Yes. See, when you can praise God for what he did do, when you can praise God, then you can understand where you are. I, I got to be true to the text because watch this. We understand here and we realize here that in this particular text, we got a problem. Because Xerxes tells him, you got to understand what happened. Uh, uh, Haman tells Xerxes the king, I want all the Jewish people dead. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Haman goes to the king and, and watch the text. I'm in the book of uh, Esther, chapter 3, round verse number 8. He tells him, he tells him, he says, I need you to understand that I need you to know something. He came to him and he told him, I want Mordecai dead. Mm -hmm. Not only do I want Mordecai <laughs> dead, I want him dead, watch this, not for not bowing. <laughs> see, see, the text says that he initially came to him because he didn't bow. Read the text. But the text says when he found out who his nationality was, right. when he found out who his race was, he says, hands alone are not worthy to be put on his life. Mm -hmm. It's a text. In other words, he says, I don't want to cause him no harm. I want to take his life. All right, all right. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. You got to understand <laughs> the fight that you're in. And the fight that we're in is not about you sinning. The fight that you're in is about your life. Don't you know that God, I mean, I'm sorry, Satan is lack concerned with how many people you cuss out a day? Uh -huh. Don't you know that Satan is lack concerned with how many times you can you can you can get high a day? He says, ain't concerned with that. He says, because I know what race you on, he says, I don't want to put my hands on you. I want to take your life. And I just come to preach a word in this place to tell somebody you wondering why the devil is keep messing with you. And you wondering why after you fail, you got back up. But according to the book of Proverbs, the Bible says that a saint fall is seven times. And and able to get back up. All that right, all right. God is still on my side. So the devil is less concerned with how many times I fail. The reason why he keep coming after me, Satan, where are you going? He says, I'm going to and from the earth, seeking who I may destroy, who I yes, may destroy, yes. who I may kill. He's not yes. He's after your life. 
And I need somebody in this place to put their hands together and grab your neighbor by the hand and tell your neighbor, God, I feel it. Hey. God, yeah. I don't know who I came to preach to. I don't know who I came to encourage. I don't know who I came to lift up. But the Bible says that when you are on the Lord's side, that God he will take care of you. Can I get out of here? The Bible teaches us and it tells us that Haman came to Xerxes and he tells Xerxes that I'm willing to give you 